All right, I got a few minutes. I started on these uh, sensors I want to remove. They say they're real easy, but they're not if your truck's rusty and crappy here. Road salt. But what I did, if you can see, is you got to get up under here. And there's a lot of body mount clips like this. And you got to, the easiest way I found, let's see if I can find a couple of them here, like this one. Is to take a razor blade and just slice along the tape that they taped it. Because trying to pull these connectors out is very tough without them breaking off. So slice the tape and you can remove that. And then I'll, once the bumper's down, I can remove it a lot easier. Once I can get to it. I was thinking about taking these bumper cap bolts off. But they're all rusty. It's going to be in my eye. Not necessary. But we got these large... They look like 21 millimeters or something, maybe 7 eighths. I got to see what what will fit on there. And there's not a lot of room here. There's about 5 to 6 inches, so I can't get the gun in there, which is kind of a bummer. Um, once I get them loose, maybe the ratchet, air ratchet or electric ratchet will work. But I want to get all these wires disconnected first. We've got the four backup sensors, and we got two license plates. And we've got the trailer hitch. And on the trailer hitch, there's two clips here. And this is a, a little nicer one. It's got the seven prong. And then on the other side, it's got the four prong. So I can hook up to any trailer. And this is with brakes and charger. And ah, it come right out of my hand. Okay, so... You just pull on this, and this part will release. And let me move so I can see. So this pulled right off, which is good. I see some dielectric grease in there, but I also see a little white. I think I'll be taking some brake clean, whatever. Clean this all out, put some new dielectric grease in. Let's see what the plug looks like. It's... Not too bad. I don't know if that's white. That's still grease. But my lights are working good. So I wanted to be careful not mess this up. So push this on through. There we go. All of our wires are hanging down now. And our plug is here. Let me see what the inside of this looks like. Now I can get a better view. Let's bring out it. Let's see. The four prong... Not too bad. I don't use it. I think I used it once. Most of my trailers, I should say all three of my trailers are seven prong. I pulled one for a friend that's got a four prong. And these look pretty good too. But definitely want to clean these up when I have the chance. Now I'll gather up some wrenches and see if I can get this nasty bumper off from here maybe I'll it's gonna be heavy with that hitch on there so maybe I'll grab some jack stands and drop it down on that all right I put a little older ratchet on there I can't find my breaker bar this morning I gotta remember what project I had it on but I'm gonna stick a pipe on this this craftsman ratchet I should handle it I'm gonna try to break these free I don't have room to get the gun up in there. Yeah, they're loosening. I sprayed them twice with PB Blaster about a week ago and then a couple days ago. I'm just gonna do it this morning. But that, I think I can do that one by hand now. I don't bump the camera right here. I can try to get all three of this side loose. Yeah, they're 21 millimeter and I'm using an impact socket sometimes they don't come off so nice and I don't want to break a, a chrome socket anything working under a vehicle is tough right we don't have a lift working on the ground here in the driveway they all broke free that's good now 
see if I can hand loosen these. Ah, it's still pretty tough. Let me switch ratchets. I got a Evercraft Napa one here. It's got a smoother, it's a nicer handle. I'm not gonna hurt my hand on it. Could probably get gloves on, right? Let's see if I can manhandle these off of there. Well, this is gonna take a little time, guys. When I get them a little looser, maybe I can get a ratchet on them. It wasn't too bad. I just uh, did them by hand. They come off. Once I broke them free, they come right off. And I left this one on just a little so I can go do the other side. All right, we're over here on the other side, and I see we got Lucky here helping us today. Hi, Luck. What you doing? What, what I got to do is the same thing, just loosen these bolts on this side and I'll put my older ratchet on there yeah I whine about climbing under cars my brother and I used to work on our cars when we were younger you know around 18 years we we're working on our own car and every time it seemed we got to change the oil or work on the starter or something i asked my brother to go under and i'll do the wires above i didn't want to do the climbing and i don't know he didn't seem to mind but boy i didn't like to do all the dirt work dirt in my eyes i do like the gratification of getting it done but maybe we should always pressure wash and clean everything good look at that see they loosen up pretty good I like that. Ugh. Getting that done. But see, once they get out to here, they'll loosen right up nicely. And this is a, I don't know, they don't call it a T-bolt, but it's a uh, a bracket with the studs. I think they're welded or pressed into it. So it's a nicer way than having to slip a wrench up through there to try to hold the bolts. I don't think these would have loosened if I didn't spray them a couple times without getting heat on them. Good workout. Yeah, once you get them out here, they work nice. And I'm going to leave like the bottom one here on a couple threads so the bumper don't fall on my head here. And I'll be putting anti-seize on them. You know me and anti-seize? Yeah, I can't loosen them by hand. Not without a long breaker bar. Put my pipe on there. I like to buy good ratchets, good tools. Not everything is super quality. Some things I got from Harbor Freight, but when it comes to ratchets and wrenches, I, I gotta have at least the Craftsman Evercraft. Some of the Pittsburgh, maybe. But boy, I don't like breaking my knuckles when I'm working on cars. So, I have skin my knuckles and I don't like it. Let's see how loose this is. Oh, yeah. So I'll move on to the next step. All right, I just got the last nut off there. And now I got two of the bottom bolts holding me. I wanted this to pull away from the truck before I got my jack stands because I'm not sure I even need my jack stands. Because what I'm gonna do is just lower this to the ground. On the new one, I wanna use jack stands to support the ends. Probably put a rag over them because remember I just painted it. I don't have a helper here right now. And then on the center, I might just use uh, the floor jack with a rag and jack it up into place and get, get a nut started. So let's see if I can do this by myself. All right, remember it's uh, got just them two nuts under there. The second reason I wanted to leave them on there is if it pulled away slowly, I could confirm that I've got all my wires disconnected. Here's my license plate wires 
all my sensor wires and my my uh, trailer wires are all under there disconnected and bumper's pretty heavy guys it's pretty rough shape but it's still pretty heavy but I think I can handle this what I might do is just slip my knee under here and hurt that for a moment. See if I can reach under and get the nuts out of there. And I think I can leave that bolt bracket up there for a moment. See, that one's out. And I'm not going to scratch any paint for sure. Take this one out. I'm just going to pull it away and let it down. Get out of the way. Here she goes. There it is, guys. That's a little workout. So, the reason I didn't want to get the chrome bumpers that I could find was the truck has this heavy hitch part. It's welded to the frame. Spare tire hooks up above there. You see my tailgate's showing some bubbles, too. So... Uh, we do have enough paint left over. There's some chips on it, I knew. It's a work truck, you know. You lean on it, you bang it. Um, it looks like there's a little galvanized metal below some of these paint chips. But anyways, uh, the brackets are on there, and they're three-bolt. I'm not sure if maybe the chrome bumper only hooked with the top two, and this is a floater. I'm not sure. Maybe the bottom two. But... I needed to hitch on there because I got a toe. So let's look at this thing. See what shape we got actual here. Uh, pretty rough. See all these little clips. These hold the wires up out of the way. I could not get them out of there and I didn't want to break them. Now that I got this bumper out, I should be able to get behind it and squeeze and pull and save all these clips. And... This looks like the original bumper because it's got the retaining clip on here. So I'm going to chisel them off and then these bracket bolts should fall out of there. The new bumper didn't come with those. See this flaky? Pretty rough shape here. I got to push my sensor brackets out, them little plastics. Take my license plate off. And... I probably could have got away with painting this thing, but look at this thing. What am I going to have left, you know? So I didn't want a monkey with it. Be about six months, it'll be back again. This hitch, I pulled something rugged on it once and bent this, but this is welded to it. That's pretty rugged. And, uh, but this plate underneath here, look at that thing. It's non-structural, I guess. I think it holds up this part of the plastic. But um, she's definitely due for a new one. Good time to inspect my frame. Frame's pretty solid on the truck. I just got it inspected, and they said it's pretty nice for the year. But our next step after getting this bumper on is... We got that fluid film we're going to be spraying under here. And I got it in black. It comes, I think, in clear and black. I got the black. I thought it looked a little nicer. And I'll probably pressure wash underneath here. Make sure any salt, dirt, loose rush chips. Maybe take a wire brush. Clean up what I can. And then I'll be spraying that shortly in the next, I don't know, next couple of videos. I'm hoping to do that while the weather's nice and warm. And, uh... The spare tire is brand new. I think I lowered it once to do something and put it back up. And so, let's get the new bumper out here and we'll put the bumper pad on it. I just grabbed a chisel and hammer. Gotta knock off these little clips. Too bad they aren't reusable because I don't have them. Make it easier to remount. Just want to snap them off. They're probably rusted enough they break or not. Maybe not. Wouldn't it be cool if I can get it off and reuse it, right? 
that would hold my bracket in place, help me reinstall. I don't know. Let me get the layer of pliers on it. That'd be kind of cool, right? If I can get that off. Usually they snap whenever I've done them. Can't click them. Because they're usually so thin. Get it all the way up here and break it. This way I can just push it down on a new one. Nice. And I'll just do the same with the second one. If I could save two, it would probably be enough. I could put it on the center bolt. And that would help install without it falling out. Because I don't have a helper here right now. That one looks like it's breaking. Yeah, see that? Now it fell out. So, I see how easy it comes out of there. Check that out. So, I can put in ICs on that. Let's see if I can save one of these guys. Maybe if I used a, like this little scraper something thinner to get it started before I damage it. Well, it'd be kind of cool. Probably not necessary, but I'm not going to go buy some of these. This one's pretty rusted, but if I can get it started, In there. Little by little. When you're by yourself, installation would be easier if I had these. I only need two of them probably, one in the center. can slide it around it and reuse it. Don't totally trash it out here. I'm excited to get a bumper on here that looks halfway decent. I don't like a rusty truck. It just, you know, the hitch is fine. It works. But the, the rust portion, I don't like it. It's ugly. And then I went to stand on it to reach up in the back of the truck and it just parts falling on the ground, the rust is just falling down, you know. I might be able to save this one. Maybe. Fix it. Hey. Then we just gotta get. Some anti-seize on them. See how bad this thing is here. And I gotta get these clips out and transfer some parts. So now that I can get onto them with a pair of pliers, maybe I can just jiggle them up out of here. Otherwise, I gotta use zip ties. These will be a little nicer. But zip ties are probably faster. Yeah, they're not going to want to come out of there <clears throat> without a little damage. Plastic on plastic, right? And I'll get the other bumper out here and start transferring parts. This thing ought to look pretty decent. Hopefully I won't scratch it getting it out of installed on the truck. 
I was hoping I could do all this under an hour. push the center the the brackets out and I'm not sure I probably ought to get the sawhorses out and get this up in the air all right these sensors plastic you're supposed to be able to just pinch them and push them out but my luck's never that good I hear them click you do them all at the same time, right? Push the four little tabs in. And then I know on some sensors they don't fit in the bumper flat. And you got to put them the proper direction. Check that out. Now I got to clean these up. See, this doesn't fit flat so this way up and you can see there's a wider notch and a narrower notch so that, that should be okay to be able to put them back in let's see what they look like here in the plastic part of the bumper cover get you over here a little bit maybe you're interested maybe you're not let's see what we got here See if we can squeeze that one by fingers because this one's not rusty. Hear it click? See these are still on an angle and this has two little slots so maybe that's a way of not getting them mixed up. They're totally different. You no, know, there's no way to mix them up by the looks. The other way is uh, do them one at a time and take them and put them in that section of the vehicle or label them. Otherwise your sensor won't snap in right. Okay, I got the bumper cover just sitting here on our bumper and I want to line up those tabs and push them in. All right, the clips went in. I tapped it down, it looks pretty good. Brought it outside here, looks pretty good. Pretty shiny. So now I gotta get these three bolts in and get the clips on. But I think I'll start on the sockets. I washed them up pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and place these backup sensors in. Turn it the proper direction here. And that's the way it goes. Should line right up. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Yeah, that's the right way and that's the right sensor. Well, I hope to get at least five years out of this bumper. That snapped right in. Go with sensor number two. Remember, these are a different design. This has got to see what lines this one up. That doesn't move. Guess it goes that way, right? Looks like there's some slag inside this hole. Let's see if it fits. It doesn't. I'm gonna clean the slag out. There's a little plastic, a little slag there. I'll get a, I don't know, some kind of blade. And grab this old Winchester locking knife. This is pretty sharp. Quite a lot of slag in there. Quality control, right? 
they know your sensors won't fit. The hole's not the right size. But um, I did a bathtub install in a recent video. You might want to go back and check that out. That had so much slag on the surround. There's no way that would have locked in. I think the slag was approximately a quarter inch long. I don't know why they can't get a deeper kind of person just to check it and clean it before they box them up. They're so sharp on those that they'll cut your fingers, you know. Well, let's see if she fits now. These press in, these press in. Has to go this way. Look at that. That was simple. We'll move on to the next two. Awesome, right? Bang, bang. Let's see what we got here. We got two more sensors, and we got to do the lights. I think I can, I'll install the lights when I get it put on the truck. This one has a little bit of slag. Clean that out of there. Because it won't fit otherwise. This knife is really sharp. At the gun club I had an old timer that sharpens knives, do it on a wet stone, oil stone, and he did three different grits on it. Took him about ten minutes and it was cutting paper. And I hate to do stuff after that, but you gotta use it. I got a little dirty. But boy, that thing is sharp. It did a nice edge on it. I probably wouldn't waste 10 minutes on sharpening a knife, but it was a free service he was doing at the gun club for everyone, sharpening their utensils with them. Let's see if that fits in there. This has, this one's different. Different than that side. This has two different lockings on this direction. That's kind of cool. That means that every sensor is different. So apparently if you get a backup sensor that goes bad and you want to buy the whole thing with the outside, you got to tell them which one you need. All right, this goes in one way only also. And it's gonna fit. It does. Awesome. Let's move on to the next step, which will be our bolts here. I want to get some anti-seas. Alright, let's see if we can get this up in there. They come out, I think this way. That's a nice setup. Um, I got one locking ring here. See if you didn't, it'd just keep falling out of there. Let's see if I can get this locking ring on there without breakage. I should grab like a, a 5 8 socket or something and press it down on there. Watch me break it because I just said that. I guess I could thread it down. That'd be the smart way. But see, that'll hold it still so we can install it easily without a second person hanging on to something. See that? That's a smart setup. So this broken one probably would have worked. I just pushed it together. Let's go over and do the other side. Boy, we're moving right along. We'll fish this thing up in there. Remember, I got one of them clips. I'll thread it on this time, and I know I won't break it. 
I probably have a few of these, but they're not new. Sometimes when I take my hardware off, brakes, whatever, and they're decent, I'll throw them in a bucket. But they're in a bucket. And if I'm in a pinch on a Sunday, I'll hunt through that bucket. If I'm in a hurry, I'm not going to monkey with it. But All right. Now, if you guys watch Dirt Perfect on YouTube, him and Aaron are always fighting over the anti seize It's kind of funny. But you always wear it. You can't get rid of it here. But I want these to be able to come back off if I want to work on the back of the truck for any reason there. It's probably easier right now to do the tailgate than it is with a bumper in the way. Because then I can paint the back of the box corner there, the back box ends, the back end of the box, if I say it right, and uh, with the bumper off. But I got to have the bumper on because I got a tow, and I got to have the truck here. So my goal was to have an hour to get out here, get this bumper assembled, get it put on the truck, get the wiring hooked back up. Can't go down the road without license plate or lights on it. And um, backup sensor, beeper warning things, like who cares? But um, this has a real nice backup camera. And it has the runway lights. They light up, you know. So when I back up to the trailer, I can see the ball, and it's usually. I back up to the ball of the trailer one time and I'm there. I get out and I'm done. And my old trucks, I backed up, went forward, back up, went forward, back up. Oh, Got to have a backup system. Now the next thing I want to do is decide if I'm going to use these clips. I'll grab all these. We got, looks like five of them. And for the wire harness, it keeps it up out of the way. I want to take this old tape off. But these go up in here. Let's see if they're all the same. Sometimes you should look at them better and label, but I'm in a hurry. I'm always in a hurry. I got things to do. Um, if I didn't do these little wire clips, I could just put a, a zip tie in that hole, which might be easier than trying to tape this up in the air so after making a mess taking all this tape off I probably won't use them anyway but let's see it's better to use these because it keeps your wire you know stiffer straighter but how am I gonna tape that I gotta go back to the wire harness tape it to the wire harness first let's look at the wire harness because maybe there's telltale marks where I can put them in the same spot and and wrap one on either side of the of the wire itself. And then when we put the wires up there, we just snap it in. Let's see if that's even easier. Hey, the truck looks kind of funny with no bumper on it. What I did is I painted the frame horns here. I scraped them and painted them because we we're putting a new bumper against it. I didn't want the rust on there. And here's our wires. Let me bring them up so we can see it. Well, we got this one's taped in place. This shows this one. There's a piece of tape. Eh, right there looks like one was. I gotta have five of them, so. Be careful you don't chip your sensors. This looks like it's got, I don't know if that is chipped. Might be. And don't want to drop them on the ground. Looks like one was there. I could bring the bumper over and line them up first before I lifted the bumper probably. I think there's play enough that I could do that. But I like them in a wire loom like this to keep the wires protected. And okay, so I think there's one there. And 
a smart guy would have marked them, right? It's got to be one like right about there is a clean spot, too. This is where the hitch lines up. Then there's got to be one right here. It's still on there. Um, I'm probably going to use zip ties, guys. I got a little bag of small ones a friend gave me, and I might just use them and not monkey with these because if I put them two inches off and tape them, they're not going to fit. All right, I'm going to try something, guys. I'm going to try to do this without jack stands, and the reason is because this has a hitch on it, it wants to roll. And I don't want it rolling off and doing damage. So I'm going to bring the bumper over and set it on these little puzzle pads I use. Like this. I was able to get it down out of there without scratching anything. You think I'm strong enough to get it back up there and put two nuts on that? If I lift that up, I should be able to reach them nuts. And then... I think I'm going to try to rest it on my knee a moment and then put it up to it. So, I don't know. Can you see that? Maybe I'll raise this up now. Get that in the right spot. Set it on my knee. And then try to get too, too started there. Pretty heavy bumper. I wish it didn't have any of this plastic crap on it. Let's see here. We don't want to scratch. Let's bring this up and in. My arm can't be there. So this is when Dawson needs to be home. My helper. All right. That one's in. That one's in. Here you go, guys. That's on. Now, see if I can reach a nut on this. I'm going to start the top one first. Oh, they go on nice with NICs. It's almost all the way in. Nice. As far as the quality of the bumper, I'm not sure it's the greatest quality, but I could not find one with a hitch on there. I was hoping to get the chrome ends. I thought that'd been attractive, and it's not available. It's not easy to find, and I give up searching. I couldn't spend a... I spent several times online searching. I called a couple numbers. Nobody called back. I called uh, in Binghamton a uh, well-known uh, truck accessory shop and nothing. He never called back. He says, yeah, let me check that and I'll get right back with you here. He says, I'll look that up. I know what you want. I told him the three bolt. I told him the hitch. told him the backup sensor of the year, the model, all the goodies, nothing. Bumper is on. Now I need to get my wrench, tighten that up, and work on my sensors. Let me show you something I noticed, guys. It's not a a perfect fit. I better get some anti-seize off my fingers first. Use one of Dawson's socks. I keep all his socks for rags. Um, when I put the tailgate down in the wintertime, you know how you get the snow on it? Well, the, this tailgate will actually... Just about touch when you clean snow off it kind of dings up your gate here and what I'm wondering is if I can lower this up and down a little bit should I have it as low as I can get it will it look funny watch this See that before it was way up here and It probably looks better way up there. 
what I might do is put the jack here, floor jack, with a rag and jack that up. It probably has to line up with these body lines, right? Yes, it does, doesn't it? Because this does not look good, and this would look good up here. See that? So it looks like i got to jack it up before I tighten this up. All right, I got a jack under there. Let's uh, see if it'll go up easy or not. About a half inch. It looks like it could go, well, it's about equal. See what we got here. Goes up easy this way. How come it's not going up easy on the hitch? Looks good. Maybe it's trying to roll it, I think. In a little bit. has plenty of power it just is binding somewhere I'll jack this up while I'm holding it up how about that I think them three nuts are too tight probably see that she can still go up a mile and See how close we're getting. A little bit more. And then I'll have to measure probably to make sure that it's even. These ends are kind of flimsy. But I want it, the body line looking even. Tilt this up a little, like that. Maybe I'll tighten one side. You don't get any directions how to install. I'll push up as I tighten this. Maybe if I loosen this a little, it'll slide up easy. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I think if I tighten the bottom one, it'll pivot it just a little, allow it to go up higher. And then that is at the maximum height I can go. So I guess that's where I'm going to leave it. Tighten the bottom one. And then I'll do the opposite side and see what it looks like. It's pretty close. And then let's see what we got here. This one can go up about an eighth of an inch. Draw this up a little bit first. Pretty good under here. A 
going to tighten all three up here. Looks like on this side. Ugh. Looks pretty good. No scratches. Let's see how long that'll last, right? No scratches. Usually if I have somebody helping me. See, we still can't get the body line up there the way I like it. Seems like it's got to go up one more inch. But the slot in the bolts is up all the way. Right, Lucky? She probably wants a snack. Everybody wants a snack. And then, let's see what we got looking here. This side is, it's up all the way. Can't do no more. I guess we're gonna have to live with it. It's only a bumper, guys. Remember that, it's only a bumper. It's only an old work truck. 2010. 163,000 miles on it. I wish it was 63,000. They're not too bad to tighten up by hand. When you're pushing, what I do, instead of hanging on the wrench like this, I open my hand up. So if I slap something, I'm slapping instead of smashing my knuckles. Dawson helped me change the oil the other day. And he doesn't understand that yet. To protect yourself at all times. Don't put yourself in a predicament where you're going to get hurt. And he punched the sway bar when he was trying to... What was he doing? Loosening the... The bolt up, I guess. He couldn't get the wrench on. He, short wrench. He couldn't get any torque. So I think he put a wrench over a wrench and then he punched it. And that's not good. Always take your ratchet and push like that. Then you're slapping something instead of punching something. Metal doesn't move too much. He ended up putting a, a bag of frozen veggies on it for an hour. And, it kind of left him a little bit of a bruise on one of his knuckles, but he said it's all right now. He thought he broke it. I said, oh, no, but he did it. I'll get a breaker bar and tighten these up at the end. This has that little push thing you push in, a stupid little plastic push in. I'll do that with clean fingers. And so that's it, guys. I gotta take my, my jack down, put it out of the way. Looks kind of nice. Let's see what the tailgate does. She clears just fine. She clears by about an inch. That should give me room enough to. You know, I take snow brush and get that off in there so I don't scratch that paint all up. But that's one of these projects. I'm going to take this off. It's got the backup camera. It's got some wiring in it. I got it. This has the uh, pull down step. I haven't opened this very often, like I remember. And then you can lift your handle up. And then, you know, you got an easy access to get up in the back of your truck. I should use this more because I set that little step ladder and get on that hard stuff with your knees. That hurts. And then I come up and then I can get stuff. But this has that bed pull out. I put one in. It's a Joey bed. So I can bring my tools and whatever. All that mess. There's probably 500 pounds of junk in there anyway. And that locks in place and uh, 
So this tail is going to be a little bit heavier, but I want to take this cover off, all this stuff that's in the way out. I might take this step off, and then I want to paint this tailgate. It's not, it's not rotten, but it's got a little bit of bubbles. And when I take this cover off, I can shoot my fluid film in there. But if I take it all the way off, I can really do good on this bottom seam and make sure. And then I can also paint the back bed of the truck there, which actually there's no rust on that. But good time to access it, you know. So there it is, guys. There's the bumper. I got to put the sensors on. It's going to be pretty again. This truck was sharp when I got it. I'm not sure the camera was in focus there. Probably not. But I just wanted to show you that we had one inch of clearance. This has the uh, step up in the tailgate. Flip this over. It's a sand pad, so you get good traction on it. This has a lift handle box. And you can just step up there, pull yourself up on and go up in if there was no cap on otherwise you got to crouch down and then you can go up in there and get your stuff well i want to paint this tailgate and then i want to dress the back of the truck here and i spilled a little paint in here i think it's latex but it's a good time to clean that out i don't see any rust on that but there is some bubbling on the bottom of this tailgate and you can't do that while it's on the truck i want to take some fluid film and uh, spray up in there. I got a kit for that. I'm gonna do the whole truck. But I wanna take this whole cover off and I can shoot the inside of that nice. There is a wire harness that goes up in there for the backup camera. And that'll be the next project here when I get time. Whoop, you gotta take and flip your step up. Don't get yourself in the gut with that. But I like it and it's got like I said a beautiful camera it shines right on your ball and it's got a runway it's adjustable and you can uh, back up to your trailer one time and you're done so now I want to work on these sensors get these plugged in and then I'll probably use some real tiny zip ties or if I can reach these I line them up and I know where the uh, original tabs go Maybe I'll just tape them on and use them. So I'll get set up for that. And then I got to put my license plate lights and light license plate on. Got to get a coffee first. Okay, I torqued up those three bolts on either side, the nuts on those studs there. And I put a two foot pipe on my wrench to beef them right up. I th think they're around 120 plus pounds. That's our hitch, remember, so I want them on there. Let's fish these wires up in here. Let me know if you're going to be able to see this, so I'll set this down. See, I just put a zip tie up top there. I'm not pulling them super tight. And then over here... I put a zip tie on this one and that keeps our wire elevated kind of snug I'm gonna pull it across through yet but get this up I'm looking for any other attachment holes and I don't see another one up here so what we want to do is just make sure that the uh, snow and mud and so on doesn't get pulling on it is a problem we want to keep these from get you know getting damaged Okay, I got the sensors in. I got this one had the factory clip still on it. I've got, I think you can see them up there. I got zip ties. I've got my plug coming through for my seven and my four prong. I'm all done under here. I'm gonna go out and work on the license lights. We got squirrel lucky and tiger just went in. You out here all helping me, huh? All right, I got my parking lights on. What I want to do is test these uh, 
license plate lights. These come with a little different setup. I don't know if they're generic or not. What's the deal? Yeah, these are like a generic little bullet connector, which I don't want to use because that'll last about a month. No, it'll last six months into the winter. I was hoping it was like the factory ones, which the bulb was part of it. Like a twist lock. Let me uh, grab one of the originals here and see what's the deal. I took, I took this out of it. And I believe this worked. I think the other side was out. Yeah, it works. It's like a little T194 bulb. Maybe these come out of here. Hmm. I don't know. Do you guys know? I think they're generic, meaning they thought they would rot off and then you just cut the wire. I don't want to cut any factory wire on the truck. And they are the same shape. Huh. I bet this bulb comes out, right? Maybe. I'll break it, right? I don't think so. Hmm. Well, if they are different, then... This connector doesn't come out of there. The state law says you got to have a license plate light. And so I want at least one to work. Be better if they both worked. I think what I'll do is I'll put a little dielectric grease right here. Keep the moisture out. A little dab in there. I have my New York State inspection license. I got it when I was 17. Back in the day, they allowed students to take the test. And I worked, I went to college, Denver Automotive and Diesel. And I worked in the field for a few years. So I worked on cars trucks, whatever, fleet vehicles, worked for Rent-A-Rec, worked for uh, Yellow Cab, she did a lot of fleet, fleet work, and um, I uh, learned quite a bit, but I knew on the inspection license, you got to have items that were built for the vehicle working, so if it had a light on the vehicle, then it had to work. If the light wasn't there, then it wasn't there you know that clicked right in so this side will work just fine see if it fits in here beautiful now we got to work on this side now I don't like to chop wires let me get the original one that was here I thought I could put a bulb in it and I have 194 bulbs But apparently you got to buy this socket. Maybe I can get it aftermarket. This one's actually got a crack in it. So probably water got to the bulb. And pins look good. And it doesn't work. So there's no reason to put that on there. Let me figure out... If I want to just stick this in there, which I probably shouldn't, because if I did, that's going to fill up with junk and look stupid after a while, get dirt in it. But I like the looks of that. I don't like the looks of this. This is a Ford. It's actually got a Ford number on it. S-A-E-L, A-D-T-K, so truck. Probably fits a whole bunch of years. Maybe I should just order one of these, only because 
This comes with a generic. I just don't know if I want to start cutting wires. Does this go in and turn? No. So what holds it in there? Check that out. Nothing holds it in there. It goes all the way in. There's an O-ring thing here. It's not recessed enough to lock, is it? Maybe i got to push harder. I'm afraid I'm going to break it. Mm, I don't want to turn. Right the other way. Mm. Yeah, this is out, guys. I can't put crap like this on there. It won't work from day one. i got to put my license plate on. Move this junk out of the way. But check this out, guys. It, uh, I'm just going to snap my uh, seven-prong plug on there. I can probably do that while we're watching. These all look pretty good. I just wanted to get a little more dielectric on it. This has a lot of pins in it. That'll keep the moisture out. And then on our plug, this brown kind of fooled me. It looks like the original was brown, like that. And somebody else come in and probably had this apart once or replaced this. This is actually See if you can see that. This tells you uh, left stop, turn, running, lamps, grounds. All this is right on the plug. I never noticed that. I plugged into this hundreds of times. and Maybe because it's down low and tilting away from you. But this is all shows you the wiring. That's kind of cool. But the connectors look pretty good in there. Everything works on the trailer, so I'm going to goop them up and put it back on. Put this down a little. I put it on there, but I want to put it on here. I've used uh, lithium grease before, but this is better if you got it. And it's probably easier to do this while I can see it. Squash some down in there. I don't use this four prong. My brother has a trailer with a four. But if I ever hook up to somebody's and want to help them, I want it to work. It's a lot nicer than an adapter. I've got a seven prong adapter that goes to a four, but it sticks way out and the lock doesn't work right. And I like this lock. Squirrel went in for a snack. And I can hear him in their mouth and wants to come back out. He doesn't want to be fed outside. He wants to be fed inside. As long as I let him back out again. So. This. Probably easier. To leave this off or not. This goes... This way, this plug goes up, so it won't go back in there good. So I'll take and let that drop out, put this in first. Should make a snapping sound. Let me get the creeper here. I don't want to. I don't want to rush this job and screw up something, so let's do it right. So much for my one hour job, right? It's about two hours anyway. But I haven't done this before, and I kind of want to do it right. So that's in there. Hear that click? Both of them clicked in. Now I'm going to take my connector, it's on the upward angle, which is odd, but I'll put that on like that. That should snap on. 
Oh, see, it didn't snap all the way in there. Did it? No. Maybe the upper one didn't snap. No, it didn't snap all the way. Well, the bottom one did. Maybe it was the bottom one. See, that's in there now. Not worth rushing because I want my trailer lights to work. I'll put my plug on. Give it a snap. See if that snaps. Didn't quite snap. <clears throat> That's all in there. Okay. What's next, guys? Just to admire it? Or go test it. Oh, I got these little guys got to snap in. This is a foolish setup. These are these little push pins. What are they going to do? Holding this bumper cap on. They're just a little Phillips push-in thing. You can pull it out with your fingers so the threads don't do anything. I had fingernails, right? You can pop this little screw out. And then you just put your clip in, push it up in that hole. See, the simplest things take the longest. And then just push it up. That's it. That's a dumb little, stupid little thing. So well, here's my junk here. I gotta order one of these lights. Maybe I get it off of Amazon. I could buy a Ford one, but probably three times the price, right? Maybe three times the quality though. It's just a license plate light. I was excited when it came with it, but if it's got to be chopping wires that's not how I like to fix things I want plug and play if they're gonna work right there's that just get that license plate light get my Ford number look at up on Amazon first I can't imagine with a bulb bulbs are about they gone up everything's gone up they're about three dollars so probably this setup's probably eight or nine Bullet connectors, not a good idea. I don't need all the extra wire when it's hanging right out of the bumper to begin with. Um, I don't like that the connector doesn't snap in, so what's the purpose of it? I don't know. So, what would hold that in there? Nothing. It was stupid. China. So there we go. There's seven or four. I've got an adjustable hitch. I'll show you that. All I gotta do is go get my bolts, put my bumper on. I've got one of these adjustable hitches to flip over. So it'll slide up and down, flip it over, it'll do two inch, two and five sixteenths. Goes up and down both directions, pull pin, you can put a lock on it. Works awesome. So, and like I said, the camera shoots right on that. And you can back up to any trailer, even in the dark, and see that.
and you don't have to get out of the truck 10 times. So let's step back and admire our beautiful bumper. You see that reflection in there. Isn't that pretty? See my creeper reflection? As far as the paint match, that's pretty nice. My creeper's rolling downhill. Check out that paint match there, guys. Doesn't that look good? So, no more rust bucket. Next step is to move on and do some undercoating. We've got all kinds of little projects I want to do on this truck just to keep it going because the price of vehicles is outrageous now. We got to keep it running when it, you know, because it is. And, uh, Look at that, I got a little dirt on it. A little pollen is out here. So, hey, remember to like and subscribe. Try to build the channel. Throw a comment down there. And we'll see you on the next one, guys. All right, I searched up that lens online. And you can get it different ways. And let me grab that package again. You can buy it complete like this and it's about $13.69 I think I saw it for this lens is cracked right here doesn't really mean it's going to leak water but it's got a crack and it faces there you don't see it but it also shows this socket empty so I think this does come out of here I just couldn't twist it with my fingers I didn't want to break it hear anything snap yeah check it out oh it looks burnt and the lens it's got a little crack in it but it doesn't have a hole in it and the bulb the wire looks good in it but watch it breaking my fingers here I've got enough no socket looks good I got one here <coughs> I had for looks like a long time hopefully it's a new one and it looks new clicks in there well, let's try it without the cap on it see what happens here it works guys so why not try to just use it? Um, because it's a Ford number and I don't have to use these. Or, because it's got a crack lens, what if I used one of them and the other one's got a Ford number on it? See, this lens looks good. But, we back to we don't have the same connection, do we? Let's see. See, they're different. What we got is these are narrow on this side. These are wider on this side. The original one, turn it the same way. The original one has two narrow, three narrow, three of the same size and one wide one. So, let's see if it'll fit in there. This looks wide. These three, maybe it'll work. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Wouldn't that be cool? Probably breaking my hand here. Mm. No, it's going to work, guys. Awesome. So, let's see if it lights up now. Does. Let's see if it snaps together here. And it doesn't. Maybe the clip has been a little. Um, a little dirt in there. Looks like this uh, part of this clip is missing on it. I 
I don't know if you need that though because it holds on that side. I don't know. Let's see if we can get it to stay on there. I know if you get all your lights to work on a vehicle, what I might do is tap, it stays and it's still lit. But uh, if all your lights work on a vehicle, you're less apt to get pulled over. You always want to keep your your lights, your wipers, everything on the vehicle, mirrors, everything in good condition. Um, I might put a little touch of silicone right there because that clip doesn't snap back all the way. But that puts us in business here. That'll get us going. I don't have to spend any money on it. I've got it open uh, silicone. So we're in good shape. And that'll finish this video up, guys. And both lamps are lit. They're in, they're working, everything's together, I'm happy. Took well over the hour I wanted to. I'm happy it's on, it's done properly, and I did it. So, if I took it to the shop, they'd scratch it, they'd forget a bolt, they'd do something, they'd break that, they'd charge me more, they'd go get more parts. Usually when I do something, I follow every step, I try to do it properly, and you know, I feel good when it's done, so. I'm going to go in and test the backup alarms, the beepers, they should work. And uh, you back up near something, the sensors will go beep, 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 beep. So, uh, yeah, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.